Never would have made it. Never could have made it without you. Amen. Hey man, I want to share this. When we give testimonies, always remember, amen, uh, when, when things come out of us, uh, the enemy hears it as well as God. Amen. And so be prepared when things come out of us, how we how we say that oh, we're, we're doing good. and we, they, Be careful because uh, he'll launch an attack against you. Amen. So, so fortify yourself. Amen. Fortify your life in prayer. Fortify your life in uh, uh, the word of God. Amen. Fortify your life. Uh, Fellowshipping with your family, with brothers and sisters in Christ, amen. amen. Because uh, too often I'm seeing people who God is exalting and God begins to exalt because when you humble yourself, the Bible says that he will exalt you. Amen. But as soon as you start coming up a little bit, you become noticed, amen. Amen, amen. because you start sharing your testimony about the goodness of Jesus. Amen. And then here comes the test, amen? amen, amen. And it seems like every time we start doing good, here comes a test, amen. And then in his plan... Is to get you to drop back down. Amen. But that's why I said praise God anyhow. Amen. Praise God in spite of what you go through. Amen. Because I, I want you to know. As God begins to uh, uh, bring you up and exalt you. Uh, you're going to get hit. Amen. Amen. I, I always describe it like a football team. Amen. And we're not preaching right now. But I always describe this as a football team. A uh, uh, God is the general manager. He's the, okay. he's the owner of the team. Jesus Christ, he's the general manager. Amen. Uh, the Holy Ghost is the coach. Amen. Yes. The pastor is the quarterback. Amen. Uh, the, the, the trustees, deacons, you're my front line. Amen. You're supposed to keep me, Sister Jackson. You're supposed to keep me. Uh, co-pastor, that's, that, that, that's the backup quarterback. Amen. Praise God. And then we got people who are wide receivers that I can throw the ball. The ball is the word of God. Amen. So, so I'm throwing throwing the ball out every Sunday, amen? I'm throwing the ball out. Now, those of you who catch it, I want you to know you're going to get hit. Amen? amen. Don't think you're just going to catch it and just always score touchdowns. Amen? That's not the, how the game works. You're going to get hit sometimes, and, and sometimes you're going to get hit hard. But guess what you do? You get back up on your feet, and you come back to the huddle again, and you get the next play, amen? You get the next assignment, and then we're going to go down and we're going to throw it again, amen? God going to throw the ball out again. And you get the word of God, you're going to do a little shake, and, and guess what? Bang! He's going to hit you again, amen? Don't think that it's going to be easy, but you're going to... And sometimes uh, the pastor's going to get sacked sometimes, amen? Sometimes the front line ain't going to do what they're supposed to do, and pastor's going to get sacked, but pastor got to get back up, shake it off, come back to the heart. When the Holy Ghost gives the play again, I got to get it, amen? Amen. So I just want to say, don't always think it's going to be peaches and cream. Amen. We shared it uh, uh, Tuesday night. The Bible says it rains on the just yes. as well as the unjust. We taught it on Tuesday night. The two guys who built the house, one was on a rock, one was on sand. Guess what? Both of them experienced winds, waves, and storms. Both of them did. Don't think because you're a uh, Christian. Oh, I ain't going to never go through nothing. Oh, you better wake up. Because the more you start serving Jesus, all I want you to know, it ain't going to get easier, amen? But, but I want you to know, he starts girding you about with, the, with, with, with peace and love and joy. He starts girding you about with the helmet of salvation, with the breastplate of righteousness, amen? He starts shrouding your, your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. He starts girding your loins with truth, amen? He starts forming you and he gives you the shield of faith that you may be in a block. And then he gives you the sword of the spirit. Amen. Your only offensive weapon, the word of God, amen, amen. To be able to fight and to be able to tear him up. Amen. amen. You, you can't beat him with your words. Amen. You need the word of God. Don't try to get up there and argue with the, with, with the devil on your job. You better have this word of God with you. Amen. Stop fighting with folks on your yeah, put the word on. Yes. Look at somebody say, put the word on. Put the word on, put the word on some folks. Amen. 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 Stop fighting with folks. Put the 
word on them. Yes. Start, start, even start saying good things to them, even when they ain't, yes. even, ain't even good. <laughs> Amen? <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about here. Start saying nice things to them. Well, you know God loves you. All right. You know God. After a while, they start feeling uncomfortable treating you bad. Amen? You got to make people feel uncomfortable. Just be so sweet that, you know, I, I used to, tell, I used to tell, love, tell my wife, love the hell out of folks. Right. And, and when I say love, love the hell right up out of them. <laughs> love them till they can't even understand why you're loving them. Yeah. They, they, they treat you like a junkyard dog, but you still just keep loving them. After a while, they start saying, I can't. Oh, she getting on my nerve. Either they going to fire you or they got to give you an increase or something. But, but see, the devil don't like that. The devil don't, he, either, either he gonna, you going to win them over. Or they going to say, hey, we, we can't have you around here too much longer. Love the hell 